Well, applying for a visa to come to the United States is not only expensive, but it can take many years. Lots of time and money are just things that many migrants don't have. We'd been married for three, four years, mm -hmm. and so, um, but they kept on denying us. When the Mawumbas got married six years ago, they didn't know that being together in the U.S. would be so hard. They said, contact your congressman, they can do something. It doesn't happen. That, yeah. that doesn't help. It just has a lot of hoops you have to go through. Kelly is American, Davis is Ugandan. For over four years, the couple tried getting a visa, which allows a person to come, leave, or stay in a country for a certain amount of time. The Mawumbas tried to get one for Davis with no luck. It's very complicated like, yeah, because like, it's hard to know what they want because like, they can tell you that we want a marriage certificate, we want this, but when they do the interview, they tell you you come with them. Mm -hmm. But then when, when you go there, they ask you different questions, you know. At the end, they tell you that you don't have enough proof. The couple finally hired an immigration attorney. Maybe a couple of hundred, several hundred dollars. Um, which may, might not sound like a lot in comparison to thousands, but for somebody with very limited means in their home country, that can be cost prohibitive. The whole process of getting a visa can be long and expensive. Regardless of what your political uh, affiliation is or what your personal opinion is on immigration, I think most folks can agree that the system is largely broken. Visas to the United States are granted in three different categories. One, in employment-based settings, to immigration through family members, and three, for humanitarian protection, such as refugees and asylum seekers. If there isn't an option to come over with documents and someone in your family has been threatened with death and you don't have years or months to wait, I think people are making decisions for a matter of survival. After several years of waiting, Davis was eventually granted an immigrant visa through his wife, Kelly. His green card is gold. It is, he's able, he has all freedoms basically. I mean, he can have a, a good job. He gets his driver's license. He's able to, I mean, we can buy houses. We can do all of those things because he, he got his green card and came here mm -hmm. and came here legally. But the immigration process is highly selective. There are also immigration and country limitations, which make the waits longer for immigrants. Some countries' wait lists are over 22 years. That category can be backlogged decades, um, simply because there are so many more people applying than visas available. So when we talk about getting in line and filling out the paperwork and doing it the right way, for some people that could take years and years. The U.S. immigration laws are complicated, and both the Mawumbas and Armstrong agree it needs to be fixed. Reporting in Las Cruces, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. Yeah, so I think that something that the ranchers in Hidalgo County always tell me is that, you know, they want people to come here legally, but I think that sometimes people forget that it is a long and extensive process and mm -hmm. it takes a lot of time. There are a lot of different components. You have to go to embassies. You have to go to different locations in your home country to even get the process started. You know, a lot of people say that needs to be in place to protect everyone right. involved, but a lot of people say at the same point in time, you know, that's a little bit of overkill. Right. Know? Well, and now as we're hearing from the CBP commissioner today, I mean, they're even saying we're at a breaking point with our immigration system. So I think a lot of people I've spoken with agree that our law are broken here and so what do we do now to fix them if they are broken it's still interesting to hear their story of the steps that they went through and like you said four years yeah. or so that it took them to do yeah. so right. yeah good for them